वेलकम बैक टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल इन दिस स्पेशल मोमेंट आई वॉन्ट टू रेफ्लेक्ट एंड डिस्कस टूगेदर अबाउट जीसस क्राइस्ट पर्सनल प्रेयर ही हैड इन इस लाइफ बिस साइड आवर फादर प्रेयर दैट ही थॉट अस आई थिंक दिस टॉपिक सो इंटरेस्टिंग because most most of people understood and believe that Jesus Christ is God because he is God he can do whatever he wants to do in his, in his life he is a beginning and the end the alpha and omega he is sitting in the throne in the God's kingdom in heaven he will just the living and the dead he is everything why he need to pray because he is god of course to answer this question we have to read the scripture from the gospel of john chapter 17 first 1 to 11a let us begin with sign of the cross In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. A reading from the Gospel of John, chapter 17, verse 1 to 11a. Jesus raised his eyes to heaven and said, "Father, the hour has come. Give glory to your Son." so that your son may glorify you just as you gave him authority over all people so that your son may give eternal life to all you gave him now this is eternal life that they should know you the only true god and the one whom you sent jesus christ i glorify you on earth by accomplishing him the work that you gave me to do now glorify me father with you with the glory that i had with you before the world began i reveal your name to those whom you gave me out of the world they belong to you and you gave them to me and they have kept your word now they know that everything you gave me is from you because the words you gave to me i have given to them and they accepted them and truly understood that i came from you and they have believed that you sent me i pray for them i do not pray for the world but for the ones you have given me because they are yours and everything of mine is yours and everything of yours is mine and i have been glorified in them and now i will no longer be in the world but they are in the world while i am coming to you After we read the scripture, the Gospel of John, chapter seventeen, verse one to eleven, we found about Jesus Christ's personal prayers he had in his life. In the scripture of John, we found interesting in here that Jesus first. He pray for himself, and the second, he pray for his disciples. First, he said, Jesus raised his eyes to heaven and said, Father, the hour has come. Give glory to your Son, 
so that your son may glorify you, just as you gave him authority over all people, so that your son may give eternal life to all you gave him. In this prayer, Jesus prayed for himself. But at the same time, in this prayer, Jesus saw us about his authority, that he is God. You can imagine that Jesus asked his Father to glorify his name. Only God can do that. No human being to ask to God to glorify himself. Only God can do that. Only Jesus Christ can ask the Father to glorify himself. That's why in this prayer, we found that Jesus prayed for himself to glorify his name because he did his job. That whatever God the Father asked to do, he did everything. And time for him to ask the God the Father to glorify his name because he did the job that God asked for him to do in his life. And only Jesus Christ can do that. Therefore, this prayer that Jesus asked to God, first, he want to pray for himself to glorify his name, but at the same time, he showed to us about his power that he is a God. In the Catholic teaching, believe that Jesus is man, but at the same time, he is God. In this prayer, I want to show the evidence that Jesus is God. He said to his Father in heaven, Now glorify me, Father, with you, with the glory that I had with you before the world began. In this statement, he found that Jesus was assisted before the other creators created to be. Jesus already with God before every the universe created. It means that He is God. He was existed with the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit before everything is created by our God Himself. Everything is empty. Only God the Father the Son and the Holy Spirit were existed before everything happened. And in this prayer, Jesus showed to us that He was existed before everything created to be. To show us that Jesus Christ is God, not only man only. The second, Jesus prayed for His disciples. He said, I pray for them. I do not pray for the world, but for the ones you have given me, because they are yours, and everything is mine is yours, and everything of yours is mine, and I have been glorified in them. In this prayer that Jesus prayed for his disciples, he prayed for us who believe in Him. He prayed for everybody to, who follow Him. That Jesus not pray for the world, but He special pray for us as believers. It is really interesting that Jesus, in His prayer, He always pray for us. That He never stopped to pray for us. And it is really important for us to understand and believe that Jesus Christ our Lord, He not just prayed for Himself, and also He prayed for us, for our own behalf. And the content of His prayer for us, that may all of us have eternal life. That Jesus prayed to His Father, so that we have eternal life. He wants to give us a guarantee that He wants to give us eternal life. Because eternal life is 
really important as the purpose of our life. When you know Him, and we know the Father, it means that it is the guarantee that for us to eternal life. And Jesus prays specially for this purpose to have eternal life. And thanks be to God that Jesus care about us. Jesus loves us. He never stopped to pray for us. And thanks. And thank you for watching this video. And God bless you.